Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And this morning I ran across this article on the Nuts and Bolts magazine website. Uh, that's been a magazine that's been around for 20-plus years about um, electronic hobbyists, including shortwave listeners. And um, I used to receive this, oh, 20 years ago. And when it was, um, I won't say a hard copy, but it was that type of format, and unlike electronic that you can get now. And it was in the form of almost like a newspaper. It was printed on legal size paper. Um, the news, the paper itself was almost like newspaper, except uh, maybe the front page. And it was an excellent magazine. I really enjoyed it. Still around, one of the few mag- one. one of the few magazines that's still around, and uh, they have a few of their articles uh, on their website, so you don't have to purchase a magazine to get it. And this one is on receiving data with a low cost shortwave radio. And it's an excellent article, a lot of general information about listening uh, to a shortwave radio. Good for the uh, people that are new to shortwave, and even good for people that's been around. Gives you a lot of interesting facts that maybe you don't know. The uh, the radio they're using for an example, they call it low cost at sixty two dollars. Well, this was May two thousand fifteen, and it's gone up considerably. But it's just an example. Tells you how a shortwave radio works in general. Selecting a shortwave radio. Here's the one that they're using for an example, which is the DGEN 1103. I did a a review of this many, maybe years ago. (laughs) Uh, It's an excellent radio, though, a very unique radio. And then it says, uh, talks about setting up your shortwave antenna, which is always very important to have an external antenna, connecting your audio to your computer so you can record it getting to know your receiver itself and how to make it work to its best ability, understanding BFO, uh, which is related to single sideband reception. A lot of people don't know how to do that. This talks about that, how about calibrating your BFO on single sideband. Then it goes into grid squares, (coughs) excuse me, which is uh, Squares to uh, indicate where the location of a station is. Digital modes. Maybe you've never tried digital modes. Here's FL Digi, which can you can run on your computer to decode digital information from your radio. Here's some of the newer digital formats that amateur radio operators use, including JT65. Here's the program. JSJT-X, which is a decoder, a nice little decoder. I think I've showed you that. Software for decoding facts, weather facts, and other signals. And then some final comments. This is a pretty good article. Uh, In general, this magazine is a pretty good magazine. I think it still comes from the UK. Uh, You can probably get it locally. My, uh, unfortunately... The big bookstores here in the local area have closed. And so I, I don't know where it, I used to get this at also every once in a while. I would get one at the local bookstore. Well, that bookstore is closed. So I guess you'll have to order it from their website or some other site. And I think uh, an individual magazine, like for instance, this particular whole magazine, I think they're about six dollars. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. Check out this article. I'll put a link in the description below this video so you can go to this article and read it, both for new shortwave listeners and even old shortwave listeners that haven't tried all these new functions. That's it. If you enjoyed my show, please give me a thumbs up and have a great day. Bye-bye.